Howdy folks, Mangy Fedlocks here with a song about the completely unbelievable life of George Santos. George Santos crossed the Delaware with Washington and crew, but in his life that's trivial compared to all he'd do. He helped perfect the atom bomb once he'd invented plastic for damn near anybody else, just that would be fantastic. When he lived back in Kitty Hawk next to the brothers Wright, he helped them fix their airplane till it finally took flight. He later built a giant boat to sail the Atlantic. The boat was one you couldn't sink, he called it the Titanic. While in Hawaii, he first taught the people there to surf. He bragged of his invention, something he called AstroTurf. To celebrate, he shot off fireworks, nothing could be louder. It made him glad that he'd invented stuff he called gunpowder. Let's tell him. While in the Himalayas, he set eyes on Everest. And since George was ambitious and the type who'd never rest, he climbed up to the top and came back down in just one day and still had time to write two novels and a three-act play. He used to play the banjo back when he was black and poor while trying to stomp the roaches on his dear old mammy's floor. Thus he invented tap dance and what we all now call jazz. If Santos hasn't done it, then I don't know one who has. When George was young, he was the best friend of our President Lincoln. At dinner, he'd toss out ideas and let them kind of sink in. And then one day George said to Abe, why don't you free the slaves? And Lincoln quickly acted on that hint that Santos gave. It was Santos' idea to free the slaves. Pretty darn nice of him, I would say. Back as a boy with tinker toys and Legos, George would play while pondering, I wonder what's the shape of DNA. A double helix was the first shape that came into mind. A smarter lad than George would be extremely hard to find. George Santos would bring sandwiches to school as he was told. He'd not invented fridges yet, and so they weren't kept cold. And though the bread got moldy to consume them, he was willing. So inadvertently, young, young George invented penicillin. I'm going to try that last line again. My God, that's hard. So inadvertently, young George invented penicillin. That's going to have to be good enough. George Santos is so gifted that some see him as quite odd. Knows how that can happen since he's fairly close to God. And Jesus told him long ago, it's no fun being rejected. And of those to whom much is given, much may be expected. You may not quite accept all that George Santos tries to claim. Like who he is. Like what he's done, his race, his sex, his name. But I'll tell you one thing is sure, then that's all that I'll say. He's honest as most GOPers that you'll meet today. Thanks for listening.